Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and continuing our trend of going through these 2018 NFL Draft prospects. And the prospect that I'm looking at here is Boston College out, uh, defensive end Harold Landry. Here's a guy that uh, I watched uh, back in 2015 uh, going into his junior season. Really fell in love with him, his explosion. I watched the Florida State game. And uh, he was practically unblockable. They tried running the ball away from him, and he kept chasing down Dowlin Cook uh, for a couple tackle for losses. So I really fell in love with him as a prospect back then. Um, continue that trend. He's one of the top defensive ends I have in this class. Currently, right now, he's my second rated, only behind Arden Key. Uh, so I was really anxious to kind of see what he was like uh, heading into this year. And, and here against... Notre Dame, a uh, pretty good matchup going against uh, Michael Mike McGlinchey, who's their left tackle. Um, didn't play against him every single snap, uh, but we did get to see them too go ahead. Um, and what I'm going to do here is kind of highlight a few things that I like about Landry, and then highlight a few things that maybe he needs to work on or that are going to be a little bit of concerns. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is um, it actually shows Landry dropping into coverage. But what I wanted to highlight is his acceleration. So we see uh, Landry right here standing up. You know, normally he's in a three-point stance uh, attacking. Uh, but he's going to drop back into coverage, and they're going to throw the ball underneath. And I wouldn't really want you to watch his acceleration. Okay, So if I go with this, he's going to drop back as you see. And then if you wait right here, here they're going to dump the ball off and or actually, I take that back. The quarterback's going to scramble up. And look how quick he comes forward. See him, see him right here. And he just really explodes. And, you know, the, the quarterback saw him coming, so he kind of went down. But he really exploded to that ball, got upfield in a hurry. And that's something that you're going to see with him as he goes forward um, rushing the passer. So our next clip that we're going to look at right here, the 50-second mark. Um, once again, he's... Here at the left tackle, or left defensive end, he's out here at the nine technique. So you see the tight end right here. He's on his outside shoulder. Seven technique, I'm sorry. And uh, and just look at his speed coming off the edge. You see him coming. He's got to go kind of wide because he's got to go around that tight end. And he's still able to get around, beat that right tackle to the edge. And get a quarterback hit. So if we watch that once again, I'll, I'll slow it down even a little bit. Because with his speed, you can see he gets there pretty quick. As he's going, okay, we're seeing him. He's got to go a little bit wide. And look, he, he's not able to get the sack. And a lot of that's because they got the ball kind of out quick. But as you see here, he's bending that edge. He's getting low to get underneath that right tackle, um, underneath his pad level. He's bending around. He's not getting pushed past. And he's able to get hit the quarterback. And he didn't get the sack, but he did, as you see him at the end there, knock him down. And, and you know, quarterback hits do matter. You know, he didn't getting the sack would have been great. Um, you get that loss there. But still, he's able to get to him, knock him down. You know, quarterbacks don't like to get hit, so... You know, if they didn't have that tight end there, that, that could have easily been a sack. Kind of show you the same type of thing. We're going to go to 230. And just show once again his speed off the edge. So Landry's going to be out here. Once again, this is more of your wide nine. Look how far out from the tight end. You saw Notre Dame in this game a lot. They, they put a tight end on his side. They helped off on him. They chipped on him because he, I mean, he's a guy that can, can wreck, a, wreck an offensive line. Um, so we're looking at him. I'll slide it back just a little bit. And watch him just that speed off the edge. And, yeah, it was a screen pass, but you could see Winbush right there. Wasn't looking to get rid of the ball that quick. And he just blows past. That right tackle had no shot right there. And uh, the quarterback had to just kind of throw that up. He's got that explosive speed. When, he, when he's when he got that lane, um, he's going to get to the quarterback in, in quite the hurry. A couple of things that I think he needs to work on. Um, he can get kind of caught up in the run game a little bit. Part of that is his aggressive nature. Part of that is the defensive scheme. 
Um, but here's a play in the run game. As you see here, going, here he is right there. He's, he's got good right away. Comes into that tight end, sets the edge. We see the, the, the tackle and the backside guard coming off on a pull. And look at this. He's got, he looks like he's trying to shed. The, the running back's right there. I mean, it's not like he came right off of him. And I know he was getting held just a slight bit there. But this is a play you've you got to make that play. I mean, with his speed and explosion, that lateral quickness, I like that he's hustling down to try and, and make the tackle. But he's got to come off and make that play. I mean, those I mean, guys that you look at as a top 10 pick, you know, first round picks, those are guys that make those impact plays. And he's got to make that. And the last one I'm going to show you, um, it's kind of the same thing. Here you're going to see um, late in the game, fourth quarter, uh, they're going to run a shovel pass. And it, you know, with 13.55 left in the game, as you see here, they're down, what, 15 points. You know, game's pro you know, still technically in contention. Um, they're going to look to run a little shovel pass here. And Landry does a good job, along with his teammates, kind of shutting that down. You see how he kind of flattened down the line a little bit. Um, right there, he kind of flattened down. Made it hard for that the quarterback to make that shovel pass. Um, and you think with his speed and explosion, all he's got to do is accelerate and get the quarterback. But he just, that just one lateral move, misses it. And as you see, the quarterback here ends up going for a long touchdown, and seals the game. Um, so I like Landry a lot. I love him as a uh, as a um, a pass rusher, but he's got to clean up his game. He's got to get some of those big plays there. Um, but I think teams are going to still fall in love with him. You can't teach that explosion off the edge, that ability to bend. You know, He's probably going to come into the league as a pass rushing specialist um, off the bat. But I think he's definitely a guy that could develop. I see him. Um, he's my 12th rated player, 13th rated player right now. Um, still have him in that first round. I had him going in the top 15 of my latest mock. Um, so definitely a guy I still love. Uh, but, you know, you might be seeing some of these other guys. A guy like Bradley Chubb um, is really having a great year. Maybe a little bit bigger size. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, um, subscribe to me on this on this YouTube channel to get all these. I'll continue to pump them out, especially this early. I'll do a lot of the senior prospects. Um, go to NFL Draft Geek if you saw it there um, for all our draft needs. Follow me. I'm at draft underscore Brian. Follow at NFL Draft Geek for our page. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good night.